Hello and welcome to another episode of Claire Hair. Today on Movie Monday, we have Captain Marvel, Photon, and Miss Marvel, and they make up the Marvels. That's our review for today. Um, we're going to be talking about the plot, the strange accents that somehow it pit, um, wardrobe, some of the outfits, <laughs> and then I'll do my overall review. So we're going to get right into the first, the plot. I'm sorry, he fine. I'm sorry. Like with all this, with all due respect, he fine. Anyways, but um, no. So the plot is basically, it takes four years after um, the Captain Marvel movie. And that was a thing is just that, baby, I'm gonna need for y'all to start doing like, like because Marvel series has so much um, plot, I want y'all to start saying last time on Captain Marvel. Do that because I don't know what was going on. All I know is, um, uh, this one girl was saying the annihilator is here. I was like, what? <laughs> like, I don't remember. I, don't remember. <laughs> I don't remember. Like, if I, if you could sit there and tell me right now, like, who is annihilator? I don't know. Like, I'm assuming from the last movie, um, I'm assuming from the last movie, like, she was doing stuff. Like, maybe, like, I'm not smiling because, you know, people, like, blipped or whatever. Like, I was confusion. I don't know what was going on with that. Um, so we have Prince Yon, basically Prince Fine, and Young Say All. Like when I saw him, I was just like, I see what y'all did there. They were just like, we gotta make sure these women watch this movie. We're gonna watch it for the black girl magic, but he's a plus. Um, the singing took me out. Like, you know, I do not like musicals. If you know me personally, I hate musicals. So when they started singing, oh yeah, spoiler alert, duh. When they started singing, I was like, oh my God. I literally, like I had my nails gripping the chair. Like I hate musicals. The only musical I like is Rent. So that is a masterpiece. 5,600. Let me stop. Um, anyways, uh, Dar Ben is the villain and she has this staff that they never really said why she has it. Um, basically the plot is that she needs the two bangles to bring the son back to Hala instead of asking nicely and be like, hey, could you bring the son back for my people? She decides to go on a 90 minute revenge plot. Um, so I would say plot wise, uh, I'll add that to my review at the end, but the plot was a little bit muddy, a little bit murky. I was confusion because um, I didn't know it was that intense. And then on top of that, it just felt very much, something about the plot very, very much felt like they kind of um, blew stuff up that, they blew minor details up and then they didn't really explain them. And they're like, you should know what happened with Hala. And I was like, we don't mama. It's been four years, four years is a long time for, um, a sequel. All right, so we're gonna get into the voices. <laughs> Let's talk about the voices. Um, first things first. I don't remember Brie Larson having that childlike of a voice. Like, I mean, like I said, like I, it's been a while, and I don't think I've seen her in a movie in a while. I think I've seen her like one car commercial or something, but I don't remember. Her, that's why, like, when she talked, I was like. I don't remember her voice sounding like that. I don't remember it. Like, I don't remember her voice sounding like that. That was that was really confusing for me because like, was her voice always sounding like that? That was a little confusing. Um, and then um, uh, King Valkyrie, AKA Tessa Thompson. I just wanna know, just Heimdall, let's go. I'm gonna come save you all, follow me. I don't know what accent they had her doing because that's not what I remember. That's how I remember how she sounded. And I always thought the Valkyries would sound more like, um, almost like a Scottish, like the original Vikings, like very, like I didn't expect um, full school. And seven years ago, we went for hello. Like, I don't know, it was, the, the tone was confusing. And then the accents were not consistent. I didn't know what, I'm not talking about acting wise. Like I said, like Tessa Thompson, like she did her thing, but I was talking just over general. I was like, where is everybody from? Okay, like that was the main thing. I was like, where is everybody from? Cause I don't know if they were trying to do like, um, I don't know if they were trying to do like this person's from this part of Hala or this whatever, but like pretty much like the accents were confusing. Cause I was like, what part like, are you supposed to have an accent? Are you supposed to have, like, there was, it was confusing on that side. Like I, I was, I was, I was thrown off. I don't know. All right, so let's go to the wardrobe. Now, mind you, 
I am part of the cosplay community, so I've seen some cosplays that I'm just like, I mean, why aren't you on the, why aren't you on, why aren't you on payroll? <laughs> I've seen some where I was just like, why aren't you on payroll? This doesn't make any sense um, on why, on why you would, you know, just like, this doesn't make any sense. Like, you're, you're, are, why aren't you on payroll? Because some of these movies, I'm just like, some of the wardrobes were not giving at all. So I'm going to do on from bestest to worst um the best one i could say is miss marvel's very unique the scarf was pretty dope um i haven't watched her show i feel like i was a little bit i feel like i'm a little bit too old for it because i feel like her show is mostly for um i don't know i want to say kids but like i would say like teenage level like a lot of her antics i was just like oh my god this is so cute for your age group you know and um I don't see myself watching this series, but I like her personality. Like she's very out there. I didn't know she was 21. She looks like she's like 16 or something. She looks really, really young. So um, I didn't know she was 21. So that was a big surprise for me. I was like, oh my God, like she is adorable. She's so cute. Um, but definitely for sure. I, I feel like her energy was needed for sure to like bring like that kid like this is a comic book. Like, I so this is a comic book, right? Like, it's a comic book. Like, it's not supposed to be serious. That's why some of the answers, I'm like, this is so silly. Like, why is there kittens? And we'll get to that later. But, um, I feel like Proton's outfit. Oh, now I got, ah, I spelled it wrong. It's Photon. Oh my God. I, I was calling myself Proton because, like, my outfit is not exact replica. I'm Proton. She's Photon. So, um, I can definitely say Captain Rambo respect um they did that thing um hair looking on point i didn't realize it was a natural hair wig because i was just like all that hooping and hollering and the and, and the curl stayed and i was like oh it's a natural hair wig swag 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 like that enough to me is points because she could have easily been like okay let me get myself like a straight wig or let me press my hair out or whatever but she was like i'm gonna do a natural hairstyle for the girlies and she did the thing because like you know it's just nice like the little girl in me is just like oh my god look at all this representation if i would have saw that representation i would not have ran to go put that toxicity in my hair um but definitely for sure i'm um, definitely for sure like she like I, I like the fit of the outfit like it's very very modern um the only thing i would say about her outfit was she looks good can i get to the yams sweet yams sorry she thick, um, respectfully. Uh, I just want to make sure that you guys know that it's fitted, but um, I don't know. I really like that. I could. I I really liked her costume. Like her costume was really fire. Um, I have I have no points for that. I have no points off. Um, the only thing I can definitely say is that um, I just wish they would have got it sooner. I would I would have loved to see it in vision, like to see her full alpha, but she was just getting her powers in. So good job. Um, uh, Captain Marvel's outfit looks like it got washed with a black t-shirt. Now, I know some of you might sit there who don't do their own laundry, might not understand that, but like when you wash something with dark, like lights with darks or something, I don't know, like I know it, it's not supposed to be like a bright red or blue, but like something about, <laughs> so, something about her costume was sending me. It was sending me over the edge. I was like, what? <laughs> Like, I was like, what, what is going on here? Like, it looks dark. It looks ill-fitted. Um, it looks loose. And, like, Brie Larson, like, like I said, I think Brie Larson's cute. But I just, I feel like the outfit was not giving for her. Like, I feel like it wasn't doing, I feel like it wasn't doing, like, I don't know. Like, it wasn't giving her, it wasn't doing her no favors. It was ill-fitted. And, like I said, she has a nice body from what I've seen. Um, and I can definitely say like the costume was not, it was not doing what it's supposed to do. I was very disappointed in the costume. And it's weird because in the original Captain Marvel costume, that costume was fire. So like for it to be 24 years later, I'm just like, who, I was like, who gave her this great value? And like, like who gave her this Craig Marvon, Marvin's room, Captain Marvin's room costume cosplay. I don't know what that was. Like, I don't know what was happening. Um, anyway, so now we're going to get into the overall review i give the overall review of the movie a two and a half out of five now stay with me now i didn't want to say that review because you know um black girl magic um the director was black so uh, from what i've heard um so i can definitely say like i was gonna watch it off just off that samuel jackson's the movie everybody loves samuel jackson come on but 
something about the plot was very, very muddy. Like, I can't remember. And not because, like, my memory is trash or anything, but something about it was just very muddy and, like, certain parts were boring. And I was like, okay, all right. <sighs> you know, and like I said, like, when they had Prince, um, fine. I mean, Prince, Prince Yawn on there, like, I, that whole scene was just awkward. Like, it wasn't, like... I didn't feel the fun. And I think that's like what's what's starting to starting to miss from a lot of the um Marvel movies. Like, where is the fun? This is a comic book. <laughs> like, this is a comic book. Like, where is the fun? Like, I don't understand. I was like, where is the fun? Like, it doesn't make any sense to me that like we're watching a movie and it feels like we're just treacherous or we're just going down the thing and we're just going and we're going. Like, where is the fun? Like, it's not fun no more. I hate that. Like I want to see like something still. Uh, mind you, they did have a se section in there. Spoiler alert. Why would you watch this review? Um, where the cat was giving birth to other cats and the cat had to swallow them. And this doesn't sound good. Um, anyways, but like there was like a lot of those pieces, but like overall, like there wasn't a part where I was like, okay, this is fun or this is funny. Like the musical one, I sat through that. I sat through that and I gritted my arm with it, but, um, there wasn't anything that's memorable from the movie besides the fact that we need the link. This brings me into Tiana Paris, which Tiana Paris' hair already on point, but we need the link to the natural hair wig that was used because we want it and we want it yesterday. Because like I said, I did a braid out, which I'll leave that tutorial at the end as an extra. I did a braid out and my hair was just like, oh, I think I'm going to shrink today. <laughs> because when I started the tutorial, my hair was bigger than when it ended. And I was like, if I knew what's going to do this, I could have easily did two pigtails and just sprinkled water on it and it would do the same thing. Like, I was so upset about that. But one thing you're going to know about me, Big Leo, I'm going to be confident even if it's wrong. <laughs> but, like, I'm sitting here, I was like, I should have known it was a wig, but we need the link. Please drop the link below to the link. Please provide the link. Please, please, pretty, pretty, please, please provide the link of the... <laughs> Sorry, my, my camera's dying. Please provide the link. Please provide the link of the natural hair to, to to the natural hair wig because it looks so realistic. I didn't realize it was a wig till I think um she was battling the villain. Um, sorry, the accents were throwing me off. Um, they're battling the villain, and then um, I looked at I looked at her parting. I was like, "There's no parting." I was like, "Oh, there's no natural parting." I was like, oh, "Okay, so it's not real." Got you. Um, but I loved it. Um, there's not enough hype and it showed that in the money. Like as of today, today is Saturday, the day after I watched it on premiere night, budget is $280 million and it has only grossed $6 million on premiere night. And that is including international international where it was where quick movie breakdown international is where you're going to make your money. Okay. That's why you'll sit there and you'll see a movie, uh, spoiler alert. You'll sit there and see a movie. They'll try to bring in as many known people from different regions as possible because that's more views. Um, they have to be able to appeal to everyone and to, for it to have a premiere night of $8 million, um, we're going to have to do our best. We're going to do our due diligence to promote the movie and keep pushing it. Um, do reviews, do tutorials. Um, definitely for sure. Keep pushing it because, um, it's very dangerous for a quarter million dollar budget, quarter billion dollar budget to only have $8 million on premiere night. That's very, very dangerous. Um, it's very easy for them to not have a sequel after. But the um, post credit scenes too were, they were mid, they were okay, but there wasn't anything like, oh, life changing, oh. Like you'll have to see it yourself. I'm not gonna spoil that for you, but the post credit scenes are mid, but there are two post credit scenes. So make sure you stay behind for those. But um, yeah, I feel like a lot of outside reasons about why people don't like Brie Larson kind of overshadowed the movie, which is so unfortunate because like I said, like, like regardless of what she thinks outside of that, this is still like a movie. Like think of them as an actor or an actress, you know, um, like this is, this can be like, if we get this to the top, we can start getting more and more female led movies. But, um, uh, right now the numbers are looking like they're going to stick to the rivers and the lakes that they're used to because, um, it's not making any money, but don't forget to subscribe, share. Let me know if you disagree or agree with me. Stay tuned for my braid out tutorial.